that's what I'll read out because when you say they're not cooperating with the police, yeah, it's so. Listen, if you've lost a daughter or abducted, apparently you're going to be like I says, Ella screaming from the rooftops, doing everything you can. You've clearly got nothing to hide, and I understand the police might have made them suspects, so they might have been told by the lawyers, listen, don't say anything, but. There was 48 questions that Kate McCann didn't answer about the disappearance of her daughter, Madeline McCann. One, on May 3rd, 2007, around 10 o'clock, you entered the apartment. What did you see? What did you do? Where did you look? What did you touch? Again, never answered. So all these questions she never answered. The second, did you search inside the master bedroom wardrobe? What were your exact words? Three, shown to photographs of her bedroom wardrobe can you describe its contents four why was the curtain by the sofa near the side window tampered with did someone go behind the sofa five how long did your search of the apartment take after you detected madeline's disappearance six why did you say madeline had been abducted seven assuming madeline was abducted why did you leave the twins to go to the tapas and mm. raise the alarm mm. the supposed abductor could still be in the apartment eight why didn't you ask the twins then what happened to their sister? Or why didn't you ask them later on? Nine, when you raised the alarm at the tapas, what exactly did you say? What were your exact words? Ten, what happened after you raised the alarm there? Eleven, why did you go and warn your friends instead of shouting from the veranda? Twelve, who contacted the authorities? In fact, I'll not even read out the numbers, but I'll just read the questions yeah. that she never asked. Mm. Who took part in the searches? Did anyone outside the group learn of her disappearance in those following minutes? Did any neighbour offer you help? What does we let her down mean? Did Jane Tanner tell you the night she'd seen a man with a child? Yeah. How are the authorities contacted and which police force were alerted? During the searches with the police there, where did you search for Maddie? How and what way? Why did the twins not wake up during the search or when they were taken upstairs? Who did you phone after the occurrence? Did you call Sky News? Did you know the danger of calling the media because it could influence the abductor? Did you ask for a priest? By what means did you divulge Madeline's features by photographs or by any other means? Is it true that during the searches you remained seated on Maddie's bed without moving? What was your behaviour that night? Did you manage to sleep? Before travelling to Portugal, did you make any comment about the foreboding or bad feeling or a bad feeling? What was Madeline's behaviour like? Did Maddie suffer from any illness or take any medication? What was Madeline's relationship like with her brother and sister? What was Madeline's relationship like with her brother and sister, friends and schoolmates? As for your professional life and how many... As for you, professional life, and how many and which hospitals have you worked? What is your medical sp speciality? Have you ever done shift work in any emergency services or other services? Did you work every day? At a certain point, you stopped working. Why? Are the twins difficult to sleep? Are they restless? And does this cause you unease? Is it true sometimes you despaired at your children's behaviour? and it let, left you feeling very uneasy. Is it true in England you even considered handling Madeline over to custody to a relative? In England, did you medicate your children? What type of medication did you use? In the case files where you, you were shown canine, canine forensic testing films, after watching them, did you say you couldn't explain any more than you already had? When the sniffer dog also marked human blood behind sofa. Did you say you couldn't explain any more than you already had? When the sniffer dog marked the scent of a corpse coming from the vehicle you hired a month after the disappearance, did you say you couldn't explain any more than you already had? When human blood was marked on the boot of the vehicle, did you say you couldn't explain any more than you already had? When confronted with the results of Maddie's DNA carried out in a British lab, collected from behind the sofa and boot of the vehicle, did you say you couldn't explain any more than you already had? Did you have any responsibility or intervention in your daughter's disappearance? Now, she never a answered any of those questions, which is so important for your kid's background, exactly. where she was before, yeah. previous, and just, it doesn't, 
makes sense now to not answer those questions. Now, I understand they became suspects, so they've got to be careful because they could be getting charged with murder. But if you've got nothing to hide, you don't you're care. Answering you don't every care one of those risk. questions. Exactly. So, you don't care about the risk at all. Yeah. If you're and innocent. Some of those questions yeah. are quite in depth of did you medicate yeah. your child? And there's talks of her giving Madeline away. But there's a, there's a big problem with that it makes completely sense. Keep in mind the first statements, Jerry was sitting behind her during the, the questioning and squeezing her shoulder and, you know, having bodily contact. That was the first questioning where she was alone. This was when they were made our guidos, like suspects. Mm -hmm. And of course, Clarence Mitchell, he said that it was advised, you know, not to incriminate yourself, but who cares? If you're a mother, you don't, give, you know, you would be on top of the shoulders. Ask me more questions. You would just answer anything, mm -hmm. you know, just get on with it. And any, any parents in a situation where a small child has been missing, you know that over 80%, you know, it's near family. Mm -hmm. You want to be excluded as soon as possible so they can put the resources in finding her, right? So of course you, you're, you're spot on. Um, but for me it was, she couldn't answer those things because then more of the uh, incongruence between uh, she and Jerry would be visible. On the other ones, you could see the statements, the first statements, they have certain paragraphs that are almost identical, like rehearsed. Um, um, so, which they were, of course. But they stayed in Portugal for an, another four months. That must go good for them, though, as well, that they stayed there because they could have went home, no? Well, yes, but, you know, they said immediately we're going to stay until we find her. And then, uh, of course, the the Friday they were made our guidos. They already had a flight on Monday, the next Monday, gone. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and hiring extradition lawyers, <laughs> you know, but so. But surely, like you, we can speculate, but if they did drug their child, that Madeline's passed away, to get rid of the body, for everybody to lie for them, for 17 years and you've got to go well possibly we could get it wrong as well like we could be wrong it's not everything 100 percent we are saying we're only going by what we're reading the information we have statements uh interviews that we can watch 